The 25-year-old actor and activist who famously played young Eric Brown in the film Nanny McPhee alongside Emma Thompson passed away on Thursday the 6th of February after reportedly collapsing while out jogging. The focus of the articles on his death seemed to be about his role in Extinction Rebellion, which is a global environmental movement with the stated aim of using nonviolent civil disobedience to compel government action to avoid tipping points in the climate system, biodiversity loss, and the risk of social and ecological collapse. Iggy died as he lived trying to make the world a better place, training to stop poachers in Africa, and surrounded by trees and people who cared about him. It's unfortunate to see a young man with so much potential in his life give all his efforts to a false cause. It may have been done with good intentions, but movements like this are simply controlled opposition to gather different parts of the public. It's pretty crazy how well they are able to mold society. Vegans are viewed as the good guys, and anyone eating meat is a big bad meanie, supposedly ignorant about the devastating environmental impact of that juicy red steak. It's wild to think about. They create a fake problem, the environment. They get enough people to believe and care about their fake problem. And now it's a real problem. There's some good sayings to go along with this. If you tell a lie enough times, it becomes the truth and it's easier to fool someone than convince them they've been fooled. So all of these vegans are connected, coming from closed groups and societies to influence people. Then you have the carnivores, the controlled opposition to oppose the vegans. And at face value, you know, vegans want to appear as the good guys, the carnivores want to appear as the bad guys, you know, creating different sides and agendas for us, for the populace to be a part of. Reality is, they are both working together to steer your food choices in a direction that continues to make these elite pricks money and prevents you from finding your true health. The elites are continuing to do what they've done for centuries. Pit people against each other, carnivores versus vegans, ketoers versus stands and American dieters, men versus women, black versus whites, kids versus adults. Are you getting it? Whatever it may be, as long as you don't realize that you're being manipulated, they make out like bandits. Now, is everyone that falls victim to this greed, you know, going to collapse the next time they go for a run at the park? No, but, but the point is people are suffering. And this specific vegan seizure passing out thing is becoming more of a common occurrence. And we've seen this happen several times in the past year. Back in December, Juice World passed away in a similar fashion, and there was also the model who died on the runway in May of last year. Everyone likes to blame drugs, especially when celebrities, musicians, models are part of the picture, but if drug use was so rampant among these people, and the result of said drug use is falling over and dying, why aren't more people falling over and dying? My speculative diagnoses about why this is happening is pernicious anemia, as we spoke about in the Juice World video, where your body is not absorbing enough of vitamin B12, mainly due to a lack of animal foods in the diet, and you aren't making enough red blood cells. Just like vegans simplify arguments about the environment and moral aspects of the diet, their simplification of human health and nutrition has resulted in people suffering. In this case, literally dying. They think they can just take a B12 supplement, but if it was that simple, there wouldn't be people passing out and having seizures and failing to breathe. There are many studies that link vitamin B12 deficiency to seizures. In this study, the person's brain was developing tumor-like lesions as a result of B12 deficiency, causing the person to have convulsive seizures about 10 times per day. A patient with B12 deficiency presented intractable epilepsy, which means the epilepsy did not respond to typical treatment drugs. The seizure attacks and all other symptoms, signs of B12 deficiency, resolved after an intramuscular administration of cobalamin. Seven infants had vitamin B12 deficiency due to a maternal vegan diet. One of them had focal seizures as the first symptom. Hypsarrhythmia was seen at the time of diagnosis, which is disorganized chaotic pattern of brain waves. 
The child was described as having West syndrome, hemiparesis, and no active speech, which means severe epilepsy, half paralyzed, and the poor child could not talk. Response to short-term B12 treatment was encouraging, but neurological recovery is unlikely. How's that sound? That's what being vegan does to a human being. Some brainwashed monkey of a mother decided she was going to save the world by avoiding meat. Great, you saved some chickens. Now your poor child will suffer the rest of his life. But isn't that what you wanted? There are dozens of these studies to look through and it's disgusting, despicable, discouraging. And it's, yeah, I mean, I applaud these researchers that can go through this stuff with these poor children and try to help them. And by no means are these issues specific to B12. This one summarizes that iron deficiency during developmental stages can result in improper brain function. Hmm, what are the, uh, the two biggest nutrient concerns on a vegan diet? Oh, uh, B12 and iron? This is no coincidence. And vegans are lying through their rotten teeth when they tell you that supplementing is adequate and that non-heme iron is the same as the iron from animal foods. If this can be debunked by going through studies on Google for 10 minutes, how strong of an argument do they have? How much effort have these vegans actually put into understanding their health, their nutrition, what they truly care about? Or do they just parrot what they hear other vegans say? But why are they just dropping dead? Is it brain hypoxia? Did they just get to the point in their nutrient deficiency where the body cannot deliver adequate oxygen to the brain? It makes sense in the context of how these people are dying. They are in situations that stress the body more than usual. I mean, going for a jog obviously increases the demand for oxygen to the brain, and that could have been the breaking point. It's scary to think that the next bout of physical exercise when on a vegan diet can kill you. Same with the model on the runway. I'm sure his heart rate was much higher under a lot of pressure and the body couldn't keep up. You don't expect to be able to drive your car without filling it up with gasoline, changing the oil, putting air in the tires. Humans are the same way, except there has been too much misconception when it comes to our health. The reason certain people are able to last longer on vegan diets or any diet is due to genetics, past diet, lifestyle variants, these poor young men died a mere few months to years of being on a vegan diet. And then you have the zombie vegan doctors that are in it for the long haul. Worst case scenario, you drop dead in the prime of your life. Best case scenario, you get dementia in your 60s. If you're lucky, perhaps your 50s. The vegan diet may be one of the worst culprits out of all the dietary beliefs, mainly because of how popular it is, how accepted it is, you know, the average person thinks it's healthy and okay to do a vegan diet. Although I believe an improperly done carnivore diet can cause issues that are much harder to address and fix. You know, it took me six years of being on the diet before things got really bad. And the amount I suffered from iron overload is unmatched to anything else I've personally suffered from. And the amount of people that are reaching out to me with similar issues, you know, dozens and dozens, after just following the carnivore diet for a few months, shows how little these influencers care about your health. I know how those large vegans feel, and I can't believe how evil these people are. They influence hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, and those people have health issues, and they just parrot things other people have said instead of actually finding alternatives to the issues in their diet. You know, most of my clients, I recommend they consume plant foods in some capacity, do certain things that aren't considered carnivore, but there's carnivores, why are you eating that dried A, grain fed corn stuff, Angus prime beef? So if anything's wrong, if, you're, uh, if your liver is turning into a chunk of steel, you better keep eating that beef, boy, and it better be grain fed, cause you won't be selling grass fed beef in my country till I die. The point is, if someone tells you to uh, eat meat and drink water or go vegan for the animals, chances are they are being paid and these people should be thrown in jail for their greed and the amount of suffering they are causing to people due to their ignorance. Whether you know ignoring the blatant nutrient deficiencies of a vegan diet 
or the negative agrochemicals, estrogens, the poison that is contained in conventional feedlot meats. It's happened on a large scale with the vegan diet. It continues to happen. It's happening on a smaller scale with the carnivore diet. And as it grows in popularity, more and more people are going to be suffering from issues that I've been you know, preaching about for months, if not years. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share the video if you can. A uh, lesson to be learned here is, you know, even these actors, these celebrities, these large influencers, you know, even sometimes they don't understand what they're getting themselves into and suffer correspondingly. Uh, you guys can go to Frankie's Sea Range Meat for high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, and minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, as well as frank-stefano.com for a free carnivore diet meal plan. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.